Hello everyone, welcome to the 40th video of my Empire of Trebizond Art of War Let's Play, playing on Iron Man. So, by the end of the last video, uh, the Russians declared war on the Uzbeks again. It's probably actually a pretty good thing for me, because uh, the fact that they're in that war and they want me to honour it means that we're going to keep our alliance, and we're actually on the verge of losing our alliance since they desire so many Crimean provinces. So that will keep my alliance. With the Ottoman truce running out uh, within a year, that's something that's very necessary. I haven't been able to get an ally in Europe yet, and it doesn't look likely either. Maybe Serbia, but they're not really worth having all that much. Hungary's weakened now. Chances of me getting an ally to France, Austria, England, Spain, nearly zero. Uh, I really need someone to help me out against the Ottomans. Um, so there's a few things I need to do before I can actually uh, honour this. I can't sell that province anytime soon because uh, Tabaristan hasn't called that up yet. So I'm going to have overextension for a while, which is a pain. Um, George is going to be diplomatic in eight years, got two colonies on the go. My rebel issues are pretty much gone because we got a theologian by the end of the last video. So I actually want to make a new rival. Uh, I should do this before we get involved in a war, because I won't be able to afterwards. So my new rival is going to be Persia. If Kiva were on here, I might take them. But, yeah, let's take Persia. My rivaling up the Ottomans really hasn't worked at all. It hasn't, uh, doesn't seem to have gotten me any closer to allying anyone who they're an enemy of. Uh, it's only those nations though. Lithuania and Mamluks actually rivaled me up. Um, which is shockingly bad. Hopefully they change their rivals after a certain amount of time um, to someone else other than me. Uh, because I reached Admin Tech 10, I believe I have, have a new thing I can choose down here. Uh, Conventicle Act. I think I should take this. Tolerance of Heretics would be reduced. Heretics uh, uh, other religions in the same group as you, so we have the Christians in our case, and we don't have many of those, or any of those within our borders, so I might as well take this. Not really expecting to either. At least for a while. I could add a policy as well, that's not worthwhile though. Actually, I probably can't do that yet. Money's bad, but I don't really need... well, you always kind of need money, but... Uh, next idea, I'm going to hold off on taking this. I kind of want to take influence ideas if I'm going to have huge vassals, it would be pretty amazing. But I just don't have the diplomacy points to take that. Could take a military idea, but we're not exactly swimming in military points either. Um, I do want to get expansion and maybe admin at some point, more likely expansion. I might end up taking that next, but who knows. Okay, so is there anything I'm forgetting about that should go away now? Uh, that's actually hidden. That should be going down each month. Um, missions. Nothing good there. So I could have to honour this by 1541. Um, is there any reason? Right, I should hold off from doing this until the last minute actually because I'm losing a bit of uh, autonomy every month I'm at peace. Um, yeah, so I'll do that. I may decrease my autonomy in some provinces shortly as well. So 4th of April. They shouldn't break your alliance after they've called us into that, in theory. Okay. I might as well put the timer up a bit. Okay, so just before this end of the month, I'll put the timer down. Got to be careful with this. Right, let's accept. Right, I do not want my vassals getting involved up there. Sadly, there's no option to uh, stay within your borders. Maybe they could add that in the game. Um, it'd be, yeah, it'd be really nice, actually, if they had more options here. So let's put down no focus or supportive. Supportive. Uh, 
don't know where that is, but I can't really spare a diplomat yet. Not going to raise war taxes. What's the military tech? They've gone up. I need to get the next military tech then. We are three years ish away from that. Uh, right, so I think it's. Oh, right, autonomy. Let's take a look at this actually. So there, that's 22%, that's 13%. Not much point in me doing anything about that then. That's 3%. No, that's 0% still. I, right, I think what I'm going to do is take a minute to uh, figure out what provinces I want to lower autonomy. And I think now is a very good opportunity when I've got a theologian maxed out. Uh, yeah, and legitimacy. Okay, I've reduced the autonomy in quite a few provinces. I've realized that I can't actually reduce autonomy in certain provinces because they're being counted as overseas, which is pretty crazy. So all of uh, those territories around here, I can't reduce their autonomy below 75%. I think that I may be able to lower some of these up here because it's near to my capital. I think I'm not able to lower these basically because it's counted as a different uh, continent at the moment. I'm waiting, I guess, trying to get some alliances and diplomatic Georgia now. If Persia gets really weak at some point, then I may go after them though. We'll see. Um, right. I'm at war now, so I can't actually get any more alliances probably. I think I'll cap out relations to Serbia though. Uh, but I should probably be making claims on Persia instead, arguably. I'll do that after that, it's finished. The Baristana relations have been, been, been improved a lot, but they still are hostile to us. And I think the truce runs out with the Ottomans in. Who's that? Yeah, I'm not going to give them that. Maybe I should, actually. Yeah, I think I will, because that way they'll get into combat with the Ottomans, and both sides will lose troops, so yeah, I will do that. Uh, so, missionary. Where am I sending this to? I want to avoid certain places, so I don't get rebellion issues. Um... I think Ermia was okay though, wasn't it? It's Kurdish. Yeah. Oh, what's the rebellion type? Bukti. Yeah, it's fine. So, Ermia. Should probably concentrate on the ones nearer to Europe actually, because I can lower their autonomy. Um, right. United in prayer. So. Wallachia or diplomatic points. Take diplomatic. Right, hopefully. Right, fish there, good. Hopefully, all these nations' armies are getting wrecked, which will allow me to take advantage of it in a bit. Am I losing money? No. I don't know why it's got a minus there, though. Country before faith? Oh. This is actually pretty brilliant if we can get a positive one since I want to make start making a ton of claims. So let's take that. Did we get lucky? Should tell you really. Yeah we did. I could be changing my national focus if I wanted, but it's already on that, so yeah, I'm happy with uh dipper points still. Let's check server out. Yeah, off reliance is possible, so let's get him back. Alright. If I allied them now, that's going to cost me a diplo point. Hold on for Georgia. Should I ally them now? Right, any chance of anyone else? Probably not. Yeah, I think I need to make myself look a bit stronger, so let's check. Let's have a look at Serbia anyway. Okay. Serbia, 10,000 troops. Would be a distraction to the Ottomans, so let's uh, offer them alliance. Send. Surprised they'll do this when we're at war. 
glad they will. Okay. Start to make some claims on Persia. Use that spy offence while we have it. So this lasts for until 1546. What's a military like these days? Ottomans, wow, they've recovered. They've got nearly all their manpower back. Russia's getting stronger though, so if we can keep them as an ally, which is not likely, but they'd be good against them, hopefully. Um, so who am I looking for? Persia. They still got twenty odd thousand troops. Military tech eight. What are they? Nine. Not really in a position where I can declare war on them yet. Then uh, let's make claims. So, uh, covert action, cupcake claim. Now, which provinces do I want? Now, I probably want those Kurdish provinces. Uh, Tabaristan wouldn't accept those culture. We've got quite a bit of Kurdish actually, so we might accept it. So let's claim those first. I think that might be the... Oh, I thought that was a capital, but maybe not. So, 3 to Ardalan, let's claim first. Next, no chance of getting caught. Brilliant. Right. And it's going to be a waiting game for a bit now, I'm afraid. Uh, Royal Marriage with Serbia. I'm going to say no to that because I'm not sure they want them as a permanent ally. If I can get Austria, for example, I'd ditch them. Not likely to happen now. Uh, Poland. I war Burgundy. Not good. I kind of want Poland strong in case the Ottomans come for me. Right. Uh, truces. Uh, 1542. The thing is, Oman may even go after me these days, or they don't have any claims at least, that's good. What do they pick for their ideas? Religious. So they've got Deus Vault, so they have cast spell on me. Okay. Tech. That's probably admin, which I don't need yet. I don't think I've built a single building yet because I've never had money. Right, Elam. Uh, so where to next? Sharazor, where is that to? Mosul. Let's do Mosul. Um, yeah. What's that? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, oh, actually, they are actually on here now. Should I... How long before they revolt? It's only one. Yeah, I might as well do... I'll get them done at the same time, I think. So let's do Mosul. Uh, that one just did. That is overseas as well, so I can't lower the autonomy if I wanted to. Um, okay. Let's win Annex Riga. Looks like Russia's finally winning a war against the Uzbeks. So Russia's about to get really strong. More than likely. Manpower's nearly recovered. I'll start to rebuild my army in a bit. Maybe even now. Uh, probably should do as well. Because the Ottomans are going to think about coming after me in the not too distant future. So let's buy some pike infantry. So one... Two, three, 
four, five. I might buy some more as well after they're finished. Improvements. They shouldn't attack me when they're at war, but you never know. Uh, let's take inflation and the admin. Let's inflation up too. Nearly reduce that. There's that uh, Paycheck Orthodox event though, which uh, reduces your inflation by one. So I probably should wait until this. I've got an inflation of three before thinking about using admin points to spend to reduce inflation. Since I have zero Paycheck authority. Right, Ardlem was claimed. Let's do there next. Um, all this territory is going to be shit though if I 75% autonomy. Um, oh, 12 days I have to wait for. This is hostile with us. They're claiming Trebizond again. Good. Fabricate claim. Kermanshu. Right, so we've got troops back in a bit. Right, so truce has run out, so that could happen any time. Theory. Let's uh, group those up there. I'm not sure why some are locked and some aren't. Shit fun. Okay, let's group those up. Uh, I should think about hiring another explorer actually. Let's... I'm gonna take... I'll take that weakened one out actually. Let's bring him down today. I might stick a conquistador and do some exploring down here. Um, could increase my fleet, but I don't really have enough money to make a bigger fleet. Not sure it's worth the investment anyway. So what's the force limit like? 15? Let's hire another few units. So one, two, three. Spy master, I don't need him. Right. There. Okay, infantry again done. Bring it in marriageable women. Oh, nice. So that's nearly done actually. So I can. Uh, to uh, get going with um, Explorer here. Let's bring these back. Okay. Gonna well, I'll put that there. Don't really want to bring a Conquistador down. Well, I guess I'll bring him down there. I've got, let's find out about the Cape. I'm shocked that the Europeans aren't down here. They are down here. That's Portugal, actually. Oh well, took too long. Um, yeah, I'm probably still going to colonise next to them. Though I could westernise off Portugal then, perhaps. Okay. Let's take him up there. Put him on. Okay. Enthusiasm, enthusiasm just expired sadly. I can group up there. Attach. Let's bring. Oh, let's uh, hire explorer. Okay, which means I'm losing military points. Did I need an explorer? 
I'm sure I did. I could have just used the uh, Conquistador to find out these areas. I might as well use them now for a bit though. Um, let's put him on there. And come down there. Okay, let's check to see how the Persians, Kievans, the Ottomans are doing. So the Ottomans are friggin' massive as usual. Persia actually losing a lot of their military. And Kiva. Let's try and find them. Uh, their military isn't great either, to be honest. So. Yeah, after I get in a few more claims, I might actually declare one Persia. I think it's a pretty good time to do it. So, um, right, let's get this explorer down here anyway. Then the issue will be the Ottomans declaring war on me in the middle of a Persian war. Potentially. I have to figure that out though. Who are the Golden Horde allies these days? Bukhara, Timurids. Yeah, they're all allied now though. If I find a way to get a Cassius Belly on the Timurids, then I'd uh, want to get into war against them. Okay, let's group those up. Move them to shoot fan. So force limit is now getting close to the cap. I'm kind of running out of money now, so I don't really want to spend any more. Ship fan. Yeah, it's good up there. Now, if I were to take expansion, say, well, that merchant would give me more money. I'd be able to afford, properly afford, to have two colonies on one go. That would help out a lot. I could go administrative. That core cost would help. But apart from the core cost, it's not all that amazing, is it? I'm going to need Diplo points for a long time, so I don't think influence is the correct choice. And I kind of can't really afford to take a military ID because I don't have the military points either. So I am more and more thinking about taking this expansion. Um, I might take... Oh, diplomatic relations. I didn't know that. Right, that's even more a reason to take it. Permanent Cassus Belly and non-pagan nations in Asia and Africa. That would be pretty amazing. That would allow me to expand a lot more. So yeah, I am more and more thinking about that. I think I am going to take it now, actually. So what could I get? Merchant and yeah, let's go it. I mean, I would love to go that next, but or even a military idea. But yeah, let's go expansion. Okay, let's take colonists, so that reduces, oh and we can also get the free diplomat now by doing this, so yeah this is going to work out brilliant, um, probably should have done this a while ago, so let's reduce that by a couple of ducats, so we've got more money, uh, what next, another one, let's get that, so uh, additional merchant, uh, we've now got Komenoi princesses. So extra diplomat, that's going to come in massively in handy. And diplomatic reputation, which also means that will get done quicker. So it's now five years away. Yeah, I think this has worked out pretty well. So. Okay. Now what? Uh, with my free diplomat, let's. Right, relations have gone up there. Let's improve relations with them temporarily. Um, now we're going to end up in a war against Kiva as well, aren't we? So it wouldn't be an awful idea to take territory off them in this war. I probably I would have to give to Astrakhan. Uh, where does Europe count over here? That's Asia, actually. That's the edge of Europe. Right, so... Yeah, okay. Might make claims over there in a bit. Uh, free merchant, let's not forget him. So we're collecting trade there, 19%. We've got 16% Persia. It's actually very valuable trade node, so 
Actually, it's probably more. It's better for me to collect deer than near, arguably. 100% deer. Yeah, it's collecting Persia. Okay, so let's see. 2.43. Let's wait until the end of the month, or he's not going to get there at the end of the month. So we'll see that in a minute. Um, is my explorer down here yet? Not quite. Two point six two. Yeah, should have had a merchant there for a while. So money's eighteen point two six. We're actually looking a lot better these days. I'll just call that diplomat back. If I could earn some money, I could make some temples to get more money, which increase my force limit, which would make us have a bigger army and then be better prepared to attack or defend against the Ottomans. So all very important. Um. Okay, so we've reached. They've claimed that. That's not an issue for us. Kalamani. Let's give it that. Let's come down here. So that's the next place I'm going to colonize, probably, if. Um, well, yeah, if we've got the range. Since we can't get to Cape anymore by looks of things. Diplomats back from Russia. Let's check this out. Oh, it's really low, actually. I don't think I would get the spy guy just in case I lose the uh, statesman. Uh, relations with Poland are pretty good. France, Austria, as ally, Hungary, Venice. Could try and improve relations with. Who are their enemies? That hasn't changed. Let's. Um, yeah, you know what? My spy, if I've got a bonus to my spy now, haven't I, for five years or so. So let's take Nogai. We'll claim Nogai. Uh, culture here. I could release the Nogai potentially. Actually, it's the same culture group as Astrakhani, so I don't think I'll bother. I didn't realize it was that big, actually. Right, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm pretty near to half an hour at this point though, so I think I'm going to call it an end of the video here. Uh, in the next video, how long has my spy guy last for? 46, so I might continue making claims until about then and then declare war on Persia, or maybe even before that. We'll have to see. Okay, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.